we missed the exit show. Monaco Grand Prix up today. Uh, if you forced yourself to watch last week's show, I'm sorry. Uh, I realized why I was all over the place. My notes were all a mess because I had planned on doing a review show of these uh, Grand Prix and uh, just never got around to it. Uh, I was planning on doing one again this week, but uh, illness prevented me from really diving into it and getting it going. Uh, hopefully we'll have it ready before the next race. Uh, but we're here. We're going to go over the Monaco Grand Prix uh, in just a second here. Uh, just quick notes from the Spanish Grand Prix. Um, heartbreaking race for Leclerc. Uh, I really think he would have just run away with it if it wasn't for his car just breaking down. Um, without DRS, I don't think Verstappen had any way of catching him. Um, maybe Perez did, but I highly doubt it. Verstappen, uh, even without DRS, seemed faster than Perez, uh, despite what Perez may have thought. Uh, Verstappen definitely had the, the quicker pace. Um, but it was an uh, interesting race. Uh, I love the dro live drone footage. Uh, I th like it to stay. Uh, I thought it was pretty fun to uh, fly around with the cars. Um, maybe, hopefully, we'll see a little bit more of that. Um, and uh, like I said... Uh, Verstappen had DRS issues, and I think it shows uh, his inability to uh, get around. Uh, George Russell um, showed why DRS is still needed despite these cars being able to maneuver a little bit better. Um, I think DRS still still has a, a great place in F1. Um, I had a lot more notes to say, but uh, like I said, I didn't do the review show. I'm not going to bore you with it for my preview. Um, but my driver of the race was Fernando Alonso, starting last, made it all made it all the way up to ninth. Um, Hamilton was a close second after having to pit early and then get back on the track and fight his way through. Uh, Perez had a great race. Verstappen had a great race. He spun and still fought back to get the win. Uh, Sainz also had a great race, but um, again, Alonso is going to be my driver of the race for the Spanish Grand Prix. Now let's get into uh, standings real quick. Uh, with the win, Max Verstappen does take overall uh, number one overall in the driver standings uh, with 110. Leclerc drops down to second with 104. Uh, Perez in third with 85. Russell's in fourth uh, with 74. Sainz in fifth with 65. Hamilton in sixth with 46. Norris in seventh with 39. Potas in eighth with 38. Akan in ninth with 30. Magnussen in 10th with 15, Ricardo in 11th with 11, Sonoda in 12th with 11, per, uh, Gasly in 13th with 6, Vettel in 14th with 4, Alonso in 15th with 4, Aban in 16th with 3, Stroll in 17th with 2, Zio in 18th with 1, Schumacher in 19th with 0, and Latifi in 21st with 0. Um... I have a, quite a few shows that I'm hoping to do uh, when we have a few breaks here. Uh, going over next year's and where drivers are going to land, uh, let's just say uh, it might be a little bit interesting. Um, and uh, we'll get back to, to get to my predictions. Uh, Schumacher, again, uh, didn't really get that close to getting points this race, but he did put up a pretty good fight. Uh, I think he'll get points sooner than later. The Constructors' Championships did change a little bit. Red Bull... Um, in first with 195, Ferrari in second with 169, Mercedes in third with 120, McLaren in fourth with 50, Alfa Romeo in fifth with 39, Alpine in sixth with 34, Alvatore in seventh with 17, Haas in eighth with 15, Aston Martin in ninth with six, and Williams in tenth with three. All right, this is the Monaco Grand Prix uh, that we're going to see tomorrow. Um, classic track been around forever. Uh, who knows how long it's going to stay. They uh, are talking about taking Monaco off with um, all the races that they do have going on. Um, I think it's a little sad uh, considering how classic Monaco is to F1. Um, three races in the U.S. I know that's where the money is, but it would be nice to see Monaco have a Grand Prix over three in the U.S. Um, but we'll see what happens. Uh, the Monaco Grand Prix grid. Leclerc is going to start P1. His teammate Sainz starting beside him in P2. Perez is starting P3. Verstappen P4. Norris P5. Russell P6. Alonso P7. Hamilton P8. Vettel P9. And Akan P10. Um, 
you got a chance to watch um, qualifying, you already knew this, obviously. <coughs> Sorry, like I said, playing a little bit of a cold here. Um, so, uh, starting at Q1, uh, Gasly got screwed big time again. Uh, it seems like all season his car is just not there. Um, and this time he got screwed twice. His car had to get checked uh, when he came into the pits. Uh, so that put him back a little bit, caused him to go out a little bit late. And um, as he was doing his last chance for qualifying, uh, Sonoda, his teammate, crashed and caused a premature red flag. Uh, I think the marshals kind of threw it out there really quick instead of waiting, doing a yellow flag, uh, making sure everything was clear, and then throwing the red flag. Uh, immediately threw the red flag and uh, caused Gasly's time to not count on his final lap. Um, and he just was out Q1. I think he was doing a pretty good lap. I think he would have made a Q2. Um, but Gasly, all season's just getting screwed. Uh, I feel bad for him. Um, like I said, I'm going to be talking about drivers next year. And uh, Gasly's one of the ones that I'm not sure we're going to see next year. At least not with AlphaTauri. Um, but Leclerc and that Ferrari is just way ahead of everyone. Um, he was flying. His last lap didn't count. I think he would have gone even faster than his 111, 376. Um, they would have blown out everybody, including uh, Sainz, Perez, Verstappen. Uh, Verstappen just doesn't have his pace this this uh, race or this qualifying. We'll see if he can turn it around in the race. Uh, we'll get to my predictions in a second. But uh, Leclerc flying at home. He's never had good luck at home. Uh, hopefully this is the season where he does. Uh, I'd love to see uh, Leclerc really take his uh, pole to P1 and finish it off tomorrow uh, with first place, pick up some more points, and you know keep this championship interesting. Um, speaking of uh, qualifying, on the final uh, chance for qualifying, 30 seconds to go, uh, Perez lost it right before the tunnel, uh, crashed, um, threw out a yellow flag, and then signs uh, right behind him, crashed into him, causing a red flag into the session. Um, I don't think it would have really changed anything. Uh, I Well, Perez... Uh, crashing obviously would have stopped everyone behind him, um, but uh, the signs crash, the red flag, I don't think changed anything after the yellow flag went out. Um, kind of sad to see. Uh, every, obviously, we know what happened last year. Leclerc crashed, caught, got pole, but was unable to race uh, due to his car not uh, working. Uh, so this is the grid for tomorrow. Um, my predictions, I think Leclerc takes his uh, pull and wins the race. Signs, I think, is going to stay second. I think first Appen gets around Perez uh, start and gets third, finishes out the podiums. Perez, I think, is going to get fourth. Norris, I think, is going to um, do well, get fifth uh, over Hamilton in sixth, Russell in seventh, Alonso in eighth, and Vettel in ninth, and Botas, I think, is going to get tenth. Uh, sorry about my voice. Uh, again, fighting a cold. Uh, that's my predictions for tomorrow. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Have a great night.